already seen the Mario, by the way. Let's see it. Game number one, Mr. E. Ludo. Best of the West, losers, top eight qualifier. And you know what, Mr. E, I would assume, won the coin flip or the gentleman's because he offered small battlefield. And if you know anything about Tri-State Smash Nin, you know at this stage, not PS2. That is their home, home starting favorite. So, you know, a little bit of the Tri-State Classic to start things off. And Mr. E now trying to track down this Italian plumber here down south. Oh my gosh, shoving him all the way off stage. Ludo, though, going ahead, playing the patient, getting off there, but now getting caught at the ledge. I love Mr. E's recognition of those defensive habits of that air dodge, but don't matter anymore. We get in a little bit of damage here for the Mario. And out, finding that up air forward instead of the slingshot back might have cost Ludo the side, but it's still 80 damage, still an even game. However, Mr. E going to say, if you don't close me out as efficiently as possible, I am going to play the most measured game plan you have ever seen. And that patience again might be the difference maker. As he finds an wow. S-match, locks out the stop, and Ludo did not see that one coming. Not at all, but you know what? Ludo still feeling pretty good here as Mr. E gets some quick little damage. That's the thing. Mr. E is going to be looking for two or three pieces and then resetting the advantage, so Ludo needs to find his way through. Right now, though, trying to hold Mr. E down at ledge. Can he find his way through? I like that forward air into the landing. Utilizing the Dancing Blade to try and find the jab lock, but just a little too far away to get anything off of it. So instead of resetting, as you mentioned, those three pieces again. But now Ludo gonna use one of the savings buttons in the game with Mario back air. Utilizing his head as well. Slowing, matching Mr. E's more measured pace to find an opportunity for the stock. That missed tech though, almost disastrous, but thankfully, not quite enough to get it done. Yep, we just hold on to that jump, baby, just in case. And now look at that. Get it on through, sliding right on in. But Mr. E sends him right back out to the other ledge. This percentage range, that's where it's becoming a problem because even if you get back on stage, he's sending you to the next side. And we've seen him, remember, one of those characters whose back air turns you around. So you'll see Mr. E a lot do these pivots or pivot walks just to mix up what direction he's facing. Because yep. then there's a panic option. You can still be reverse, solve and flash, and get out of dodge. But you want to try and find any way out of dodge just like that. Because Mario, right, that grab, that combo game, so terrifying. Now, Mr. E always ever so patient inside of Advantage State, but this time, Ludo finally able to find the opening, and that Dolphin Slash not gonna pay off for Mr. E there, but never mind that, we got that up tilt. And that Dolphin Slash right, yes, you'd like it to hit, but really it's just to get out of that Mario combo, you're terrified that's just gonna carry you off the top and kill you. Now Ludo having an opportunity to reset on platform, not gonna find it quite the with timing he wanted to, so having to back off again, not finding the optimal combo string he was looking for, and allowing Mr. E yet another chance to rack on some extra damage, and up smash, that's a Mr. E classic, and then down air on stage to cross up as well. Now potentially opportunity to find an early stock with the early jump button from Mario is gonna give him one more chance. Now, caught off stage though, Mr. E trying to shut it down. Love that F tilt, just recognizing Ludo's dash in. And Ludo, unable to get the stock right there with that down smash. That could have been big, but you know what? We're still in this to win it. Can we go ahead, maybe see a early Mario stock, or is Mr. E gonna shut it down right here, right now? Mr. E, holding still. Stop the side B, and that's gonna kill. Yeah, beautiful off. Oh, really just textbook game from Mr. E. Not just in the matchup, but for himself, right? He played his game plan land. He played his play style from start to finish. Slow, measured, optimize your advantage. Let you feel like you need to play faster than him because you feel like he's just a moving, but not really swinging. And then you push a button and all of a sudden he was ready the whole time. I'm but he finds a hit with the immaculate spacing and just keeps the pressure going. One of the cre most creative things that he did in that game one was he would rising Nair into Dancing Blade 1 because when you Dancing Blade in Ultimate, unlike in you know games like Melee where you may be familiar with seeing it as well, but right, instead of conserving your mo drift momentum forward, it stops it entirely. So he was using full to do full momentum rising neutral air into Dancing Blade 1 to just stop midair and fall. Very creative use of raw tools just for positioning spacing alone. That's the Mr. E spell. And you know what? Now it's time for a little more of something special. Mr. E B Ludo, such amazing gameplay, absolute 
pillars of fundamentals. And look at this, we're getting started already 65%, and we keep it rolling with that fireball. Man, he really sent him there and back again off the platform. Didn't find the combo extenders he wanted, but still managed to make the most out of it. it Yin, that being said, he's just not able to find a way past this blade consistently. Because Mr. E is very content to not overextend. Just hold his spacing, hold his positioning, say, Ludo, I might be down by 20, but you want to keep running at me, so I'm going to let you do so. Love that patience, though, inside of neutral. Both of them not wanting to commit too hard, but now Ludo getting caught up. Stuck a ledge, fireball, dish a little bit of extra damage, and yep. now gets on through because of it, too. I love the wall jump spacing as well as that drop off there. These players are getting very creative with how they get off ledge. Recognizing the ledge trapping is a strong stop. Oh, really, for both of them, the cape could have been disastrous, but Mr. E not pulling the dolphin blade out early, so able to find a way back. Ludo still able to reversal the situation, now has Flood missing in a wave land, much like Mr. E would in that situation, and, but still not able to keep the advantage going. And somehow, after all of that back and forth, it's Mr. E who takes the first stop. Because of that now, well, never mind. We are back to even. Ludo shutting it down and putting himself back on the map. Mr. E now being recognized, having to go ahead and figure out how he can get through this plumber's offense. Man, they're really taking each other out to dinner, making each other spaghetti and everything with the way that game, this game has started. But now it's Ludo's turn to rack on the damage. Not going to find the up air hit he wants, so not able to find the out special. Convert the stop just like that. Mr. E got a little out of dodge with those DI mixes, but now he's just trying to find any way back down. Ludo's advantage state has leveled up this game, but Mr. E under platform now to just lock it down, try and abuse that extra range he has, and never let Ludo in again. And you know what? For that, it is working pretty good for Ludo, though, in this corner. Gets that back air. I love the catch on the roll. Always ready to go ahead and let the option rip. Got the nair, covering it. Can and we go ahead and stop it here? And the defensive call out there for Mr. E to drift back, say, I'm going to take this corner situation, even though he still lost the stock for it. To avoid the F smash, that definitely would have been the stock. Very, very heads up awareness play from him. But now Ludo really answering back here in game number two, looking like a different player, like he figured something out with Mr. E's game plan. And because he's not willing to approach the same way. He's just dash shielding when he does, yep. and Mr. E just hasn't been willing to grab it yet. And that's the nice thing about playing Mario, though, is you're getting plenty of damage out here. 60%, and we are living to 127, and thankfully getting caught up on the wrong hit of that Dolphin Slash, so we're just going to the other side. Can we go ahead, get something moving? Love the flood to buy space. All righty, playing a little patient. Finding his way over that fireball, recognizing the slight twist in the image, not quite a straight line yet, and able to find his way through the muck. Mr. E now having Ludo in the corner. This is where you want him at 170, though that up throw not going to kill. So instead, forced to put him off stage. And now it's the opportunity with the ledge trap trying to use movement, but Ludo has been so patient, not falling for any bait, but finally going to do so on the initial dash under the center of platform. And a much needed stock, but thankfully also, at 60%, this nice weird range where you can't combo me to death, but you can't kill me yet with the raw hits. And now we're getting on through. I love the landing forward airs to get the hit. Got him locked at ledge now. Can we keep it rolling? Ooh, grab. And that is such a sad SD from Ludo as he didn't realize he had broke the grab. And because of that, went ahead can we, and fell off stage. I was going to say, production, can we get the replay on that situation? Yo, production, can we get the replay on that game? Game act or on the ending, actually? No, we cannot? Okay, sorry, it wasn't. Wow, it wasn't you're asking too much. Get out of here. What okay. you doing? <laughs> well, you know what? I was hoping. <laughs> very cheeky little moment there. The Dio! Crab, the crab Dio! Release, right, the crab slide off. This guy. Unfortunate, this, awkward hold situation. up. Get the cam on us for five and, seconds. And no, we're going oh, into the mind. game. Oh, never mind. We're going, we're going into, into the game. The game. You yeah, can I, see him on Mexican listen, comps. Listen, all I'm going to say Gosh, is, Dio. I get your desire to work the bit, but instead, maybe we got to work on keeping those grabs in check because Ludo not really realizing it broke, unfortunately sliding off stage and losing the game, but now working on this up air strength. We saw the figure out last time, tried to pick it up off the bounce off the stage, but just wasn't able to do so. So Mr. E getting away with one there. And oh my gosh, Ludo locking him down at ledge. Might have gotten away with that last one, but Ludo firing back with a passion, wanted to show that he is going into this top eight if he has to fight it and tear it out of Mr. E's hands. But he is furious right now. This is a different player than we saw games one and two. That what in the unfortunate way to end that last game might have Broken most player spirit, but not Ludo. Oh, that being oh, oh, not one, but two. Mr. E. Bro, he just—he really said, "You think your team fundies? 
You got nothing on me. I got the footstools and everything, dog. We got Nair into here. Can we go ahead and keep it rolling, Mr. Oh my gosh, he wanted that man's goal. Yeah. What happened is the way Ludo came out of that gate, Mr. You realized, oh, he's not broken. He's upset. He's mad. And he is using that passion to fuel him. So you know what Mr. E said? I'm going to answer right back same way. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. But you know what? We got a headbutt. Ludo, thankfully, back in this and only at 42% considering, you know, how early that last talk was. That could still be an issue. Yeah. Okay, Mr. E with the aggressive swing, baiting out the shield by barely missing shield, using a rising bear instead of a falling one. And because of that, he's going to find the advantage. St. Ludo now out of resources at ledge, but going to get, get there nonetheless. Able to use the SBF platform to get back the, the dash attack, the pressure, but still, it's just a scramble again. We are scrambling for any opening right here if you're Ludo. And you know what? It's just not coming. Mr. E on deck with that counter. He's so ready at all times for what Ludo is sending out. Also, shout out to that, uh, that dash dance, which it might just look like a hand warmer. It is a little chilly in here, but really what it is is just to mix up which way that Ludo thinks he's gonna go from under the angle platform. Or might keep him guessing when it matters most. Ludo now swinging at ledge, but not able to find it, and now it's Mr. E's turn. Now, we got him off ledge. Can we go ahead and keep this moving and get it a quick, clean 3-0? Ludo, though, getting a little bit of damage, but he just hasn't been able to find the conversions that he wants. And now, caught off ledge, Mr. E looking for it, and he's going to seal it out and find it. He's going to top it. Yeah, Yin, at the end there, we saw Ludo really put together some great aggression throughout, but just wasn't able to answer around the sword. Had a couple missed spacings on his up air positioning and then at the end that last interaction he finally decided to just start swinging yep. that's where mr e found that last advantage they found the capitalization and oh my the double foot stool too oh but the just, double foot stool bro, he didn't oh do it to him once gosh. but twice that's really it that's also that's a thing i've seen mr e do i've seen zamba do i've seen guy guy do everybody in tri 